my name is Abhishek Jain and today I'm just gonna explain how you can install a Docker on a Windows 10 machine. So before starting the installation demo, uh, I just wanted to let you know the Docker is nothing but just a containerization technique uh, which provides, you know, the operating system label virtualization. And it is completely different from the virtual machine concept because in virtual machine you have to allocate you have to install a new operating system on the parent operating system and you need to allocate you know the hard disk and the specific uh, memory to running that particular operating system so it's similarly very hard coded stuff and that cannot be changed over the period of time but in the container in the container the, the, the main flexibility it's auto scaling kind of stuff and depending upon if 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 more resources are needing it's automatically consume that from the parent and uh, it's it it won't hamper you know the any kind of uh, any kind of any kind of uh, issue related to that which can which happens uh, more frequently on the virtual machines right so that is why uh, docker is nothing but just operating system label virtualization the another uh, important factor of docker to get fam to get the popular in the recent years is uh, it 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 removes lot of you know the lot of issues and the noise which have which used to happen when you just take the application from one environment to another. So there are a lot of environmental related issues because you know the each and every the, the environment within a within a one uh, industry you know it 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 differs from you know one from another right. So that 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 leads to you know the lot of issues when you just take one application from one environment to the another so that also docker tries to you know handle that uh, so what happens within a container a container is you have you know the your own environment with all the dependencies related to the applications right so you just collect uh, all the dependencies and you just put within an operating system and you can just take that complete container and you can run on any of the machine docker is started with you know supporting the linux environment or the unix like environment but now uh, the the version which we are gonna install it it is it is providing you know the container to be run on a windows uh, operating system as well so uh, so when 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 there was only the linux uh, supported container so what used to happen on a windows machine if you if you want to run a container so what it used to do is within a container you will have a linux kind of environment where your application runs right so it doesn't matter on which platform you are running your container uh, so that's the that's the more valuable or the uh, important feature uh, because of that the docker is getting you know popularized now quickly just go to uh, the uh, prerequisite what exactly needs to be done uh, the first of all what you have to do you have to just go to the hub.docker.com and you have to uh, register yourself right so for registering is what you have to just register your name you can give any id over here and then your email address and then you just password and you just click on sign up and you will get one email that you have to check to just confirm that and afterwards your id will be created with the docker hub right so the next thing is which you need to do is you need to just download you have to just go to the google and type docker for window 10 on the very first link which is a docker docs.docker.com this one also you can click look you can click on this one as also so let me just click on the first one right so you will be prompted here you can see this download docker for windows there you have two things get docker for windows get docker for window edge right so stable channel i would go for this and uh, and the community edition right so you can take anyone whatever you want depending upon what exactly you want right so so let me just click on this uh, so the moment you click on this your download for me uh, i have already downloaded that so i will not be needing it uh, let me just quickly show you yeah so here i have that so once it's get downloaded what you need to you just need to click on this right so the moment you will click on this the this page you will get installing docker for window and the add shortcut to the desktop right so you will be having you know the once this installation gets completed you will have the docker symbol on your desktop the another thing the another uh, added advantage now uh, with this installation is you can use a windows container instead of a linux container right so you can switch between you know as i mentioned earlier right so 
as I mentioned earlier, right? You now you have a flexibility to uh, run that, run uh, either a Windows container or the Linux container. But earlier we used to have only the Linux container. So by having this, you can uh, you will be having a flexibility in your Docker to just switch your container between uh, Windows and the Linux, right? So uh, since uh, this has already been installed, so in the next time, uh, the, the, the next page will be where it will start, you know, downloading and unpacking a lot of files and all the rest of it and just keep installing that. Uh, so, uh, for me, it's already been done. So that's why I'm just getting this. Your installation is up to date. I just need to close that. Uh, once that installation is done, uh, it will ask for you for you to just restart your system. And once you just restart your system, uh, you have to give here, you know, that your Docker ID and your password and you have to log into that. Not now, but uh, you, once you just restart your system, then you will have this icon over here, right? And you need to click on this. The moment you will be clicking on this Docker for window, right? And this page will be prompted to you where you have to give your, your Docker ID, right? And your password, which you have initially set it up and you have just confirmed on your email that this is your ID and you have initiated that request, then you have to log into that. So the moment you will log into this, it will show you, right? Then it will show you this icon, right? The Docker is running, right? And if you will just click on it, right? So you will have a lot of option restart and all those stuff, right? So once you just give all your uh, IDs, logger, logger, and Docker ID and all those stuff, it will start, it will take initially some time. And the another point which I wanted to highlight is you will see one service related to the Docker, Docker for Windows. Yeah, this one, this should be running right before clicking on that. But by default, it's automatic. So it's the moment you start your system, it's automatically get triggered. Right, so that is how uh, it. Once you just have this icon in running mode, uh, you can just right click on this, restart. So it means started. And another thing is, you just take, you just mouse over this. It will show <coughs> Docker is running. Uh, initially, it will say Docker is starting. Once it gets started, then you have a Docker is running. Then you can go to the CMD, <coughs> and you can check. The basic command is. Docker. Yeah, so this is what you will get if you just put the Docker command. It will show you all the stuff which you want. And if you want to see the version, you can also check the version as well. This is your version. And there are a few commands like Docker PS. Docker PS is just how, how many containers are currently running. Then we have a Docker images, what all images you have downloaded so far. If you have, uh, I mean, but these are the commands which you know you can run uh, by Docker. You can see all these commands, what all option do you have? And that is how you can, uh, you know, now you can just pull the images, whatever the images you want. <coughs> and sorry for that. And whatever uh, container you want to run, you can just run that, right? So for command and all those stuff, I will be, you know, creating a new video where I'll be explaining how you, what all commands are there through which you can pull the image, then you can run the image then you can run the container and you can control the containers and how you can build the image from the uh, uh, if you have an application if you want to containerize that how can you do that so for those kind of style i'll be creating a new video where i'll be explaining all these stuff so that is how you know you can install the docker on window 10 and you can enjoy containerizing your application because that really uh, remove a lot of a lot of lot of lot of noise and issues and the overhead which we developer has Right. So keep learning, keep watching. If you have any feedback or comment, don't forget to just put in a comment section. I'll be more than happy to incorporate them. And thanks for watching.